Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain about how to implement the proxy design pattern in Java. Proxy design pattern provides the control to access the original objects. The main advantage is it protects the original objects from the outside world. The main usage and then the example is like uh, no one can access the production server details. Only the authorized persons can access it. For example, software developers don't have the permission to access the production server details, but system engineers can access it. Okay, so the based on this usage and then the example, I am going to show you the demo how to implement the design pattern in Java. The first step, I am going to create a main class file in my Eclipse with the package name as com dot talk to dot patterns dot proxy so this is my package name I'm going to provide here and then the class name I'm going to give like proxy design pattern demo proxy design pattern demo and then this is the main class file I'm going to create it now with the public static white main method okay so now I'm going to create a pojo class like a model engineer with the attributes name and the role so private string name and then private string role so i created the two attributes in this model and then i'm going to create a setter method and getter method for this okay so i created the engineer model next i'm going to create a repository to show the to store and retrieve the engineer objects like uh, so this is the repository class I created engineer repo so this method I'm going to write one method in this class like uh, to get the list of engineer engineers okay so this method will return the list of engineers so whoever calling this method will provide the list of engineers list from the repository so here I am going to create the engineer1 with the name and then role engineer1 the name I am going to provide here John and then the role I am going to provide here like software developer engineer1 dot set role John for the name the role is software developer I'm going to provide it here okay and then I'm going to create another one engineer called Daniel with the role is system engineer okay so the next object the engineer object engineer two dot set a name Daniel and then engineer two dot set role is system engineer okay so I'm going to create a list now and then I'm going to add the engineer objects in that list it's a array list okay list of engineer oops sorry engineer list equal to new of array list new of array list so I'm going to import the list packages and then array list packages okay I input it and then I'm going to add the engineer objects in the engineer list engineer list dot add of engineer one and then the engineer list dot add of engineer two so whoever calling this method it will give you the list of engineers so this method will return the list of engineers engineer list engineer repo class I created and then this is the model engineer okay now I am going to create a interface like server access the interface name is the server access in this interface i am going to declare a method like get server details public void get server details okay so that's all only the one method i have declared here in the server access interface now i am going to create a class with the implementation of the server access interface the class name i am going to give production server and then the implementation is the server access.
okay so i'm going to add the implemented methods okay this class implements the server access interface with the method get server details so whoever calling this method so the they can access the production details so here i am going to just add the sys out like production server access and fetch the server details okay so i added the sys out so now i am going to create another one class like proxy server that implements the same server access interface okay so proxy server and then that implements the server access i'm going to add the implemented methods okay so here is the trick like um, now i am going to create a name object uh, sorry name string object i mean the attribute here okay so also i am creating a constructor for this class proxy server and then while creating an object for this proxy server i will provide the name so with the name they can access by for example based on the name we need to fetch the role of the engineer if the role is the system engineer then i am going to provide the access to fetch the details of the production server otherwise i am not going to provide any information okay already we created the engineer repository class so i created the object for that i am going to loop engineers list so already we got the name right so in the engineer object like if engineer dot get name equals ignore case of uh, that name so name is match and then the role should be a system engineer and engineer dot get role equals of the system engineer if the name i mean if the name matches and then the role is also matches like a system engineer okay then i am going to uh, allow the allow to fetch the production server details okay here i am going to add the sys out like with the employee name uh, like uh, for example i am creating an object for the proxy server with the daniel then daniel can access the production server details can access the production server details here i am going to create a object for production server okay here i am going to create a object for the production server that implements the server access okay so here server access equal to new of the production server okay so if by using this production server object i am going to call the method server access dot get server details okay if the name and then the role is matches i am going to allow to fetch the server details okay so now we can come to the main class here i am going to create a object for the proxy server server access equal to new of proxy server here i am going to provide the name like uh, john wants to access the production server details so server access dot get server details and also i am going to create another one object like uh, server access 1 and then here i am going to provide the name daniel server access dot i mean the server access 1 dot get server details like uh, john have the uh, system john doesn't have the system engineer role but uh, daniel have the system engineer role so only the daniel can access the production server details okay so look at here the name daniel have the role system engineer but the john have only the software developer role now i am going to uh, run the application okay so if the name is matched 
can access the production server details so server access dot get server details now i'm going to run this application and then this result will be print from the production server production server access and fetch the details okay now i'm going to run this application run as java application okay look at here daniel can access the production server details production server accessed and fetched the details but the john is not printed yet because the john don't have the permission to fetch the server details i mean the production server details okay in the engineer repository the john have the software developer role now i am just on to change this like uh, daniel have the system engineer right i am going to change the role john have the system engineer role and then the daniel have the software developer role now okay software developer now i am going to run this up same application again now the john can access the production server details but the daniel can't access this i am going to run this application look at here the john can access the production server details production server access and fetch the details okay so this is the production server details we get it from the production server class that implements the server access interface okay so i created the object for the proxy server class okay it will check the name and then the role if the name and role matches it will allow to access the production server details from the production server class thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel to get more video lists thank you